Hello agents, welcome to week six of your Spy Academy training. My name is Miss Julie, otherwise known as Agent 74, and today you'll be learning how to make a catapult. To complete this task, you will require the following. Popsicle sticks, about seven of them. Rubber bands, around three of them. Scrap paper and some small household objects such as plastic bottle caps or Lego pieces. Now I will demonstrate how to put your catapult together. All right, let me show you how to make a catapult. Let's start with our popsicle sticks. You will need seven popsicle sticks to make the catapult, but right now we just need five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Put the other two aside for now. And then your five popsicle sticks you want to stack together. Like this. Now take one of your rubber bands and tie it round one end of your popsicle sticks so that they are all stuck together. Then take another rubber band and tie it around the other side. Just like that. Now Take the other two popsicle sticks and use your third rubber band to tie the two of them together at one end. Once you've done that, pull apart the two sticks on the end where the rubber band isn't and put your bigger stack of popsicle sticks in between. This is going to be your catapult. Next up, you need something to shoot from your catapult. A piece of paper is a good place to start. Take your scrap piece of paper, and scrunch it up into a ball. Then balance it on the tallest end of your popsicle sticks. This might be the tricky bit. There we go. Now we're going to see how our catapult works. Hold on to your catapult with one hand and with the other hand hold onto the highest point on your catapult right beside where your ball of paper is. And we're going to push down and then we're going to let go. One, two, three. Excellent. My catapult works. You can continue using paper with your catapult or you can experiment with other objects such as bottle caps. Hold your catapult down and then push down at the highest point. One, two, three. Perfect. It works with those. And for my last experiment, I'm going to try a piece of Lego. Again, put the Lego at the highest point. Oop. Hold your catapult down. And here we go. One, two, three. Congratulations on building your catapult. If you would like, at this point, you can color it so that when you are out in the field with our other agents, you will know which catapult is yours. I'm going to color my catapult now.
I have just received an urgent message. Let me read it. It is case, it's the case of the missing metals clue number six. The security camera in the delivery room is up very high. The thief had used a catapult the Creativity Commons had just made from the 3D printer to throw a rock at the camera so they could steal the medals while everyone was in reception. One suspect said, it can't be me. I would never break library property. Unscramble the words below to figure out which suspect said this and should be eliminated. So this week we have to unscramble two words. And once we've unscrambled them, they'll tell us what the eliminated suspect does for work. If you remember, the very first week of Spy Academy, we gave you a case summary that tells us what everybody does for work. So it's going to be important to know that information. Well, best of luck, everybody, with this challenge. And you have one week to solve the clue and eliminate one of the suspects. See you next time. Goodbye.